Should I start a policy with my tax refund? My name is Carmen. And I'm Darius. And we are the founders of Wealth Nation. We teach entrepreneurs and high achievers how to own their own lifestyle. So be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the notifications bell so that you're notified when we upload new videos. And also check out our Patreon page. Patreon is where we share exclusive content on how we create policies for your particular lifestyle. Mm -hmm. It is tax season, ladies and gentlemen. So what are you doing with your refund? Around this time of the year, we typically get the same question, which is, should I use my refund to fund a policy? And we say... Yes, because what's the alternative? You, I know back home, this is the time of year I would see rims. <laughs> <laughs> this is the time of year where uh, restaurants will start to fill up. <laughs> this is the time of year where mm -hmm. I would see brand new sneakers. Mm -hmm. Some nice purses. Some, some nice, nice purses. Some nice accessories. None of this is adding to your value uh, as far as net worth or your cash flow. But you flossing though. But you you look good. <laughs> <laughs> but your bank account. Your bank account though is a little. <laughs> you end up back to where you started from before you got the refund, which is nothing. Mm -hmm. So. Yes, absolutely get a whole life insurance policy so that you can start taking care of some of those expenses, necessary expenses, mm -hmm. by controlling your debt. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, yes, because <laughs> like Darius said, the contrary is you blow the money on things that aren't going to bring you money back. So why not use your refund to begin your banking system so that you can utilize the cash value to pay off debt, to uh, create some of those financial goals that you're trying to set for yourself. Right. So essentially, it's amazing to be able to utilize that refund to further your financial goals as opposed to making it a hindrance. Yes, exactly. And, and don't get offended. I'm not talking about you in particular. I'm just talking no, not about you. what yeah, not you. behind you. I'm talking about what I've seen <laughs> with my own eyes. <laughs> and, and to be fair, we've done it as well. I mean, we're, we're totally not exempt from this until we understood what we were doing. Right. So absolutely, use your refund to get a policy so that you can start those things that you, you that are necessary to you, those expenses or debts that you do have, mm -hmm. you can use those funds from your policy to start redirecting those funds back to yourself. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. So the, the main part of it is just really understanding with this amount of money that you now have in your bank account, what can you do to be more strategic with that money mm -hmm. so that you can work smarter instead of harder? And we want to make sure that around this time of the year, you know, everyone's getting some money or, mm -hmm. or paying money. So in this case, not only are you creating a banking system that will further your financial goals, you can also use Use the funds that you have from your refund to help you pay for taxes come next year as long as you create the process of being disciplined with your funds. So what Carmen is referring to is you can use uh, an existing policy to pay your taxes next year. As business owners, we always have taxes that we have to pay either on a quarterly or on an annual basis. Mm -hmm. So you can absolutely use your insurance policy to use a cash value, pay the taxes, and you pay yourself what you would normally pay IRS. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because again, working smarter, not harder. If you take your refund, and you use that to start a policy, you mm -hmm. can sit on that policy if you would like, or you know, use it for infinite banking. So right. in our case, we use some refunds, or use some money from our refunds from our, our personal taxes to start a policy, mm -hmm. and we sat on that, and then we use that cash value to pay for our business taxes the following year. And since we already know we're gonna pay our business taxes on a quarterly basis, we mm -hmm. pay that money to ourselves plus interest, and that just allows us to use that same money to pay for taxes next year. Yes, and for anyone who has paid the IRS uh, on installments, you know that they charge you interest on those payments. Mm -hmm. So charge yourself the exact same interest that the IRS would charge you for repaying your taxes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and all we're doing, again, is working smarter, not harder. So yes. instead of taking your refund and maybe buying some things that will cause you uh, some emotional joy temporarily, right. let's take that money and make lifetime generational money to further your goals. Yeah, don't get caught up in the immediate gratification of going and spending all your money. Mm -hmm. Use that money to Put yourself in a better financial situation than you were previously so that you can start recouping and just like Carmen said, create generational wealth.
Thank you so much for your time today. We really appreciate your attention and I hope this video has added value to you and to what you should do with your refund check this year. Mm -hmm. So after this video, make sure you check us out on Patreon at patreon.com forward slash wealth nation. And remember, own your own lifestyle. Or someone else will.